Rick Lord here for Rick Lord TV and Movie Light Photography behind the scenes. You know, I think one of the best things about knowing how to use motion picture lighting for digital photography is being able to really create great art scenes. Now, these are the only kinds of images that I feel I have complete control over. That means I get to create the scene that has all the necessary components to make it as real and believable as possible. I've always enjoyed suspending disbelief in my work. I have a friend up in Portland, Oregon that has a western set that he built and he uses it for commercials, photo sessions, advertising, and Wild West shows. The cool thing about his western town is the sets are all practical sets. In other words, the sets have interiors built right into them. He's got a jail, a saloon, a store, and he's even constructed a picture-ready barn with all the farm implements of the 1860s. I thought it would be fun to create a few images using the saloon interior as a backdrop, maybe shoot a day for night scene as well. Well, I'm sitting here with my producer, Michelle, hammering out some of those details. We'll be needing cast members outfitted in full wardrobe, including guns, set decorations that are also authentic to the time, and of course, a few lights, a smoke machine, and a generator. As you'll learn in my book, planning is absolutely everything in this business. We're here in the town of Last Chance, a Western set built by Tom Mannon on the Rossi Farms property right here in Portland, Oregon. Pretty cool, huh? Join me as I show you how much fun can be had with a digital camera, a few motion picture lights, and a little creativity. Jay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my camera in right about here, okay? Um, so we're gonna bring an HMI into that window there. Okay. A 1K goes to that window there, but we're gonna to have to put a four by floppy to knock out the sunlight that's already coming through that window. I don't want that. Okay. Okay. We'll start with that. We're probably gonna bring some fill in here. Okay. Alright? So um, our power sources, we've got the generator. We're gonna use that one up there. We also have another one on the floor down there that we're gonna use. Those okay. are two separate circuits. So we may have to bring a ladder in here and string some lights using grip clips okay. or string some uh, power, okay? Okay. All right, let's, uh, let's do this. This here, we're gonna put uh, half blue on this. Okay. On the HMI, we're gonna put half O on that, all right? Okay. Uh, I think Tom is doing a dog and pony show for a music video that's going to be shot. As soon as he's done, mm -hmm. let's see about getting her in wardrobe. Are you, are you, are you acting in this thing? What are you doing? Are you working with me? I'm not completely positive. I think it's whatever you want. So I will. Okay. I think we're going to put you in wardrobe. I'm going to keep you with me since you want to learn this stuff. Then why don't you stick with me? Um, so as soon as Tom is available. We'll get you, we'll get you going, okay? Bring, uh, bring me some dirt. Yeah, and also clothes pins, oh, you got it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love working out here in the western set and stuff. All right, HMI. HMI's right there. And this puppy up. That's half straw, not half O. Okay. Hold on, hold on. I might, I might use that. Okay. I might use that. We'll see. Straw's a little bit uh, less hard, I'm guessing. No, it's actually just a different shade. Okay. Um, I like using straw. It's just, I'm not sure we're really going to match with that. I doubt I it. So we have a head feeder. Yeah. All right. Once you start getting us some power. Okay. Um, and this is what we're going to do. Oh, smoke machine. 
that goes in there and we're okay. going to plug it in down low. Okay. So get that going. I'll work on that. Uh, I bring it more. Whatever we do, this want to strike the HMI first okay. because of the power surge on the generator. So this will come up to temperature and get about eight minutes, nine minutes, ten minutes, something like that. This basically maxes out the generator, these two lights. Okay. So give me two more stingers. Okay. Let me take a look inside and see what we got going on. Okay. Hey Tom. Why don't we uh, why do we kill these overhead lights? Uh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well we're gonna have well, I, I really can't do anything because it's a little bit temperature. Jay, what I want you to do is go out to the 1K. Okay. Let's slide that down. You can hear me through the window, I'm sure, right? Okay. Can you, can you hear me? Um, is a, I need I need those circuits running. So we'll just what we'll have to do is just crawl up there and unscrew. We just have to unscrew the ball. Can you get me a step ladder? Yeah. I want you to stand behind the bar. I need a bartender. So, because somebody's going to be back there at some point. Yeah, we need to pull power from the ceiling. We're going to have to do some filling here. Um, let me get a lens up real quick. I may be able to use a 28 millimeter off the gap to go to 12. I think I see everything from there to there, which actually works in our behalf. This might be where I want to be, huh? Slide down just a little bit, Jay, to the window. 